The Louisville Western Branch Library was the first public library created for us and operated by our people. It was the result of residents banding together to call for an education space of our own. This is Two Minute Black History, what you didn't learn in school. Even though post-Civil War, we were considered free and legally allowed to read and write, Basic community services like libraries were not accessible to us. One town sought to change that. The city of Louisville, Kentucky would be the home to the first public library for black people. Educator and Louisville civil rights leader Albert E. Meisek knew the importance of a public library being accessible to our people, especially for black children. So he took action. My Zeke and other community leaders pressured the city to open a library branch for black residents as many black children did not have access to adequate books and services at their schools and their demands worked. The Louisville Free Public Library opened in 1905 and it included funding from Andrew Carnegie to open the Western branch that would be ours. Finally, our people had a library of our own. This sparked more libraries opening for us across the country. Our ancestors fighting for the opening of the Louisville Western Branch Library shows that when we work together as a community, nothing is impossible. Together, we can force the system to bend to our wants and needs. In order to move towards the future, you've got to look to the past. This has been Two Minute Black History a podcast by Push Black. If you enjoyed this episode and want to show your support, please rate and subscribe to our podcast. Together, let's celebrate and honor the legacy of Black history.